Can you share any details on the proposed summit with uh, President Putin? Where would it be? What would the topics be? And what was his response? Um, and also, Putin himself suggested public talks with Biden in mid-March, and he was brushed off by the White House. So what's, what's the change? What's behind the change in posture? Well, let me first say that, um, as, as you note, uh, the president had a call with President Putin this morning. We put out a readout of that, but let me reiterate a couple of the highlights for those of you who are following other pieces of news. Uh, during this call, they discussed a number of regional and global issues, including the intent, intent of the United States and Russia to pursue a strategic stability dialogue on a range of arms control and emerging security issues, building on the extension of the New START Treaty. President Biden also made clear that the United States will act firmly in defense of its national interests in response to Russia's actions, such as cyber intrusions and election interference. And he also emphasized the United States' unwavering commitment to Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. The President voiced our concerns over the sudden uh, the of Russian military buildup uh, and increasing aggression on the border of Ukraine. Uh, and called on Russia to de-escalate tensions. So as it relates to your question, I will say that, um, you know, our approach to our relationship with Russia is one where we uh, certainly expect the relationship to remain a challenge. Uh, we expect there will be continued difficult conversations, uh, and we are prepared uh, to confront those. But our goal is to have a relationship with Russia uh, that is predictable and stable. And having a conversation or a dialogue, which the plans will need to be developed on. This is the first conversation about it at that level, of course. Uh, it, the purpose of that is to, of course, be honest and candid where there are areas where we disagree and have concerns, but also work together on areas where there is mutual interest. And that may relate to uh, arms control, as, as we did with the extension of New START uh, shortly after the President was inaugurated, or even uh, m working together on pursuing an Iran nuclear deal. So there will be a range of topics discussed as we get closer and details are finalized. We'll share those with you, but we are just at the early stages of the discussion. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.